join me behind the wheel of a 2009 Mark IV Mondeo, which is uh, actually the third generation of Mondeo, because the first generation greedily took two Marks. This was introduced in 2007, and they sold it until 2014. The interesting part about this car that I'm showing you today is that it's the top spec, the Titanium X, which was the highest specification they sold of this car. And something really nice about, about a high spec but otherwise relatively ordinary car. You know, you get all this different interesting equipment on it, but, but the car is otherwise fairly anonymous to, to the outside world, so other people wouldn't really know that you had all these fancy gadgets. It, it's a, a Ford from that era where they were really focusing, majoring on handling and ride. That basically started in 1999 with the Mark I Focus, and it's all thanks to a fellow called Richard Parry Jones, a Welshman who was basically uh, head of Ford design from 99 up until the first year that this car was released. He really wanted to build cars, basically ordinary cars that would actually handle well and ride well. I wondered if that would still be the case for, for this one, the Mark IV, because it was the last year that he was there. I'm pleased to tell you that, that uh, his input is definitely in this car, I can tell. There's something that he coined himself, which was the 50 meter test. Basically, the idea was that within the first 50 metres of driving a car, you should know whether it's a good car or not, whether it's dynamically a good car and whether you like it. I think this car passes that test because the first time I got in it, I was really quite impressed. Even just the, the initial gear shift as soon as you drive off, it's got a very uh, nice, accurate feeling gear shift. When you get to your first corner, you feel that sharpness of steering and just general sort of enjoyment of, of, that you'll get driving it. And then at the same time, despite the fact that this car's riding on 18-inch alloys, which come with the titanium spec, it rides really well. This particular car, it's not, uh, it's not a spring chicken. As I say, it's 2009, it's, it's 13 years old. It's also uh, got 144,000 miles on the clock, and the steering is pulling off to the left, and the brakes are juddering somewhat. I think it's been like swiped by Godzilla or something on the uh, on the rear quarter. But but it's a, it's a survivor and I like cars like that. It's not falling to bits. Potentially another cliche of, uh, of Mark IV Mondeo reviews but I think it's worth mentioning and that's the fact that this car was in James Bond Casino Royale because I mean we all know that that's the best of the new Bond films. It was the first of the new of the Daniel Craig ones and it was the best and uh, at some, some point in it he's just randomly behind the wheel of a Ford Mondeo product placement basically but uh, I don't know whether it did much for the Ford sales or not. So again with it being the high spec version you've got this nice big screen in front of you and it's got this little car on it and it, it's quite it's quite cool. It, I, I was wondering what it really could show you. Essentially it's just like when you turn the lights on the lights appear on the front of the little picture of the car and when you open the door the, the doors open on it and stuff like that but you can go into the settings and change all sorts of things there's even a color scheme so you can change it from like blue which is what it's in now the other option is sort of a weird beige color these seats which are really comfortable they're part leather and part alcantara and they um, hold you in round the corners but also they they've lasted really well there's no sagging on the driver's bolsters which is normally what you get from people getting in and out of cars over and over and over. I also like these these vents in the middle that, that are like 360 pointing them. It's a little bit more obvious where they're pointing and also they just look kind of nice. The whole, the whole centre console kind of looks like a sort of like a little frog and then uh, when you close the vents it's like you're closing uh, its eyes when it's died. But uh, maybe that's just me. <laughs> and a Ford Special, the heated front screen, which is brilliant in the winter. It's got little elements running through it and it uh, clears the screen for you very quickly, just like a rear screen. So this is the 138 brake horsepower, two litre diesel. It's got plenty of power. It's got that nice low down diesel torque, which is good for overtaking. 0-60 in 9.3 9 seconds, so it's fine. Now that I'm doing 70 miles an hour, I mean, it's not, it's not ultra quiet in here, but it's, uh, it's not bad, it's certainly smooth and, and uh, comfortable to, to drive on the motorway. To do the uh, returning to the car in the car park test, how do I feel about it? They always look better in high spec Mondeos, they always have done. Titanium is no exception, I mean those wheels look fantastic. Some of the older, lower spec ones had black door handles, you know, that contrasted with the rest of the car and didn't look so good. But... I think it was Auto Car magazine 
ran a feature when this car came out. They preferred how it drove over the BMW 3 Series of, of the time, which obviously BMW market themselves as the ultimate driving machine. So to have a, 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 a car magazine say that the Mondeo is better to drive is uh, highest praise indeed. Backseat JJ, what do you uh, what do you think of the back of the Mondeo? Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is sick Mark IV Mondeo. It's the... Uh, <laughs> what the heck is that? What, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought that's what, I thought that's what, what we meant to... What, what he, no, we don't, we don't do that on this channel. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's better. It's bloody great back here. Um, there's loads of room. Loads of leg room. Plenty of headroom. I can sit behind a JJ. Not loads back here. We've got a little light. That's nice. And uh, there is actually some climate vents as well coming from the, through the door from the side. I mean, it's comfortable. Mm. You've got like really comfy seats and like uh, nice headrests and stuff. So uh, yeah, I, I like it back here. It's a it's a good backseat JJ car. Well, thanks for that. Thank you. Cheers. The concept car that came out that they that Ford showed just before the Mondeo was released, which was the Iosis concept. This, in essence is the next Ford Mondeo. And it looks well good. It, you can see where the, the design eventually became this car, the Mondeo, but there was something very Aston Martin-y about it, and I think that makes sense because Ford owned Aston Martin at the time. So what about interior practicalities? Well, the glove box is quite, quite small actually, but then it's got a, a center console cubby, um, some quite big door pockets, and then a cup holder in the middle, which doesn't quite for once in a big car, I can't quite fit this fat bottom bottle into it fully, but it does still stay there. It just doesn't fully slot in. You've lost my cup, cup holder test there, Ford of 2007. Oh yeah, uh, there's a sunglasses holder up top as well. It's got a ridiculously massive boot, like just, it's just huge, it's cavernous. And you can fold the rear seats down, so it kind of makes even more space. Be interested to hear from uh, from you if you're a Mark IV Mondeo owner. Do you agree with what I've said? Do you like the car? What what do you like about it? Please do follow me on uh, Instagram and or, and or Facebook. Uh, the links will be in the description below. Like on Instagram, for example, I, I'll post up the car that I'm going to do next, so you'll you'll get to know what it is before it appears on the channel, if that so floats your boat. Thanks to thanks to Brady for lending me the car. Yeah, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. There's going to be a video up here that might be interesting to you. Another one down here. If you want to subscribe, then click my face, which is going to be down here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.